head of primaries, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has given deadlines to political parties on nomination and withdrawal of candidates. The Electoral Commission also foreclosed the adjustment of election timetable. In line with its guidelines, INEC has directed the parties to submit list of delegates for elective offices to each seven days to the date of primary. Both the All Progressive Congress APC and the People's Democratic Party PDP submitted designated centers for their national conventions to INEC yesterday. APC opted for the Eagle Square while the PDP shows the velodrome at the Moshud Abiola Stadium in Abuja. It was learned that unlike in the past, the commission declined to bend the rules so as not to distort the timelines for the 23 pool. The commission has fixed the last day for withdrawal of candidates and the replacement of withdrawn candidates for July 15th for presidential and national assembly and August 12th for governorship and houses of assembly. Also, why the last day for submission of nomination forms for presidential and national assembly election is August 8th, the curtains will be drawn for governorship and houses of assembly on August 18. The publication of final list of nominated candidates will be on September 2020 for presidential and national assembly elections and October 4 for other strands. But the public campaign for the presidential and National Assembly elections will kick off on September 28th and that of the governorship and houses of assembly is from October 4. According to a top official of INEC, the parties have been notified of the timelines for appropriate guidance. The guidelines read in part in compliance with Article 451 of the INEC regulations and guidelines for the conduct of political party primaries, a political party that adopts the indirect primary mode shall make available to the commission not later than seven days to the date of the primary. The list of persons that will form the delegates that are eligible to vote for nomination of the party candidate to contest every elected position, the list of delegates shall be accompanied with the list of aspirants and the list of the party electoral panel conducting the primary. In compliance with Section 84, Section 9 to 11 of the Electoral Act 22, a political party that adopts the consensus primary mode shall make available to the Commission copies of the written consent of or aspirant cleared for the position indicating the endorsement of the consensus candidate who shall then be ratified by a special congress or convention. In compliance with Section 84 of the Electoral Act 22, primary and voting by members or delegates of a political party to nominate a candidate for elected positions shall hold at designated centers within the respective national, state, senatorial, federal, and state constituencies. Primaries held outside designated constituencies shall accordingly be invalid. My viewers at home, was your reaction to this? Please uh, drop your reaction in the comment section and your voice will be heard and clear around the world. Okay? Uh, INEC gives APC, PDP, others deadlines. I'm sure you got the details right as uh, INEC give APC, PDP, others deadlines. Okay? Alright, uh, please uh, drop your ration in the comment section and ensure you subscribe to our channel for more updates. Then as well, ensure you share this report across all uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission uh, uh, platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, uh, name it. Then as well to ensure you share this report across all APC, PDP political platforms uh, worldwide on Facebook, Instagram. A telegram and name it as and God bless as you make this report very right, okay. Then uh, also to uh we'll be going uh, to take your rations at the moment now. 
okay right uh, having some network issues but uh, uh we'll, we'll be right there yes we'll be right there okay yes all right uh tony ogbore for did comment uh, saying uh, be rest assured that they won't micro zone it to the east the plain truth okay uh this is not uh in regard to what we are discussing at the moment okay all right uh, uh we'll be deliberating on what we have read at the moment and uh, uh we shall later draw the curtain okay all right and uh, as it is i was sure you got what we, we uh, talked about yes regarding uh, the coming general election and uh, with INEC, you know giving deadlines to apc pdp uh, as political parties yes as uh, you know apc pdp uh, also giving uh, you know deadlines to other uh, political parties yes uh, which are the others uh, like uh, the uh, nnpp we also have uh, the NNPP is the New Nigeria People's Party. They also have uh, the All Progressive Grad Alliance, which is the APGA, and they will have the Social Democratic Party, the SDP, yes, uh, which are others which uh, INEC is giving uh, uh, deadlines to as a uh, par, you know, a convention, uh, venues, uh, 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 dates, uh, you know, uh, dates. A delegate lists and uh, also to date of submission of a uh, you know a candidate lists yes for the election and also uh also list of withdrawal uh, of uh, you know party members or uh, or uh, uh, you know to now uh, uh, aspirants of the party yes before now aspirants of the party withdraw or such aspirants yes giving notifications to INEC and uh, as it is now uh, INEC has uh, you know given deadlines to political parties yes uh, re regarding what we just said and uh, I must commend INEC for that because uh, uh, we are in a country where people you know create uh, some uh, level of problems here and there just to heat up the polity which is not right for our democracy and which is not right for our you know our country nigeria uh it will be better that uh, you know in nigeria here we have a lot of litigations here and there uh, in name of politics yes name of politics people have even been killed by people been killed regarding politics in is our country nigeria and uh, that should not be promoted yes crisis you know litigations here and there should not be uh, be promoted but uh, you cannot completely wipe out uh, litigations from our society from our country because uh, you know uh, in life there must be you know issues with people yes issues with people so because of that because of even having issues with people hence uh, you know courts were created in order for people to seek redress in court, even maybe if their names or character have been deformed, so through the court, they cannot seek a redress. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, as it is, uh, like we just uh, you know uh, talked about or read regarding uh, the venue for the uh, PDP. Yes, the venue for the PDP convention, yes, uh, will be uh, the Eagle Square, while the PDP uh, will be the velodrome at the Moshida Biola Stadium in Abuja, yes. That will be the venue for the uh, APC and the PDP, yes, regarding uh, their convention, okay? And uh, in the convention, a uh, party... A presidential, uh, you know, candidates will be picked, and uh, also two other persons in other elected positions will be picked regarding an international convention. But the convention is mainly for the presidential, yes, presidential 
who will claim the presidential you know ticket of uh, the party okay then uh, of course other parties you know will also be having uh, venues for their conventions yes but uh, as far as the fa uh, as for the fact that uh, the APC and the PTP are the two major political parties in Nigeria so we you know uh, dwell on that for the now okay all right uh, like we said earlier ensure you share you, you drop your ration on the comment section and ensure you subscribe to our channel uh, for more updates and this all can take for now and buy for now do join us in the other news please okay